Okay, guys. Bree and I are taking another walk around the food forest. This time I'm examining my fruit trees. Anytime it's been raining for a few days and you don't um, observe your trees, you need to. Because this Galatian apple tree, I always say Galatian, but it's gala. Uh, it has been attacked by those moths that lay the aphid lays. Can you eggs? Can you see that right there? So in this bottle here, I have just a touch of alcohol with wintergreen, neem oil, a little dish soap, and what else? No, that's it, water. And so I'm trying to do this with one hand. I am heavily spraying, see that? The aphids. And it's supposed to rain. And if it doesn't rain, it's supposed to rain. Okay, let me see if I can get this focused. It's supposed to rain, but if it doesn't rain, I'll come in here in and uh, blast the whole tree with water. See that right there? Okay, yes. so I'm going to stop and I'm going to go around. I've been walking around the whole tree. And guess what? It's easy to find them because they like to attack the youngest, tenderest leaves. See right there? And I'm going to spray that. I don't know how I'm going to do it with one hand. Let me see if I can do it with my left hand. But you guys know how to spray. Okay, I'll come Sweetie. back later. And where you see aphids, if you look closely, if you have an organic garden, you will see ladybugs. And that's why I don't use all those chemical sprays. See the cute ladybug? I'm going to see if I can focus it a little better. This is Just a minute, blue. sweetie. I found blue. I think I have some moisture. I'm going to wipe my camera. Okay, that's focused in better. See the mm -hmm. ladybug there? Ladybugs eat aphids. And that's why I don't use chemicals because I don't want to kill my ladybugs. Big Mom, you that's a beneficial bug. Now. Just a minute, sweetie. In and so, now. where you see aphids, if you have an organic garden, you're going to see ladybugs. If you don't have any, put some in. I put some in like five years in a row. I didn't do any this year. Next year, I would definitely release some ladybugs. I ordered them off of Amazon. Callaway's Nursery has them too. But I won't spray in the area where I see ladybugs. I'm going to put the camera down now and I'm going to keep on spraying. Bria went in the house and got my other little bottle of concoction. <laughs> Say bye now. Bye now. There are thousands and thousands of aphids. Okay? okay? So you see some black ones, you see some yellow ones, you see a little. Yes. I don't see any white yellow ones on this one. one. The yellow one. You found the yellow one? Yes, okay. Right Okay, I'm going to summarize the main points of this video in a few seconds. Number one, always inspect your plants. Walk around your gardens. Check out your trees. You might want to do one half one day and the other half. Rotate it. That's what I used to do before I retired. Um, catch your pest issues before they get out of control. Okay, and as I said previously, it had been raining, so I have been really looking at the trees. I was just looking at the uh, transplants that I had recently put in the ground. Okay, and the other thing I wanted to tell you, number two, stay away from harsh chemicals. Trust me, guys, anything those chemicals can do, there is a organic or a natural remedy for now, some of you may say, uh, Cheryl, why are you worrying about aphids on a gala apple tree that does not have any apples? An uh, older gentleman, uh, a farmer once told me, any time that you have insects, non-beneficial insects, get rid of them. Or sacrifice one part of your garden, a plant, what have you, for them to feast on that because they have memory. They will come back to the same area that they feasted on the year before or the season before. It's like a squirrel. A squirrel knows exactly all of the trees in the neighborhood and they know where they can go gather some nuts and hide them in your containers, in your garden beds so that they can come back and get them when um, it's cold and there's no fruit or anything to eat. So be wise. I appreciate you watching my video today. Watching. Bye now.